What's going on guys? I'm coming at you with a webcam video today and that sounded naughtier than I was intending it. But as you can see from the video quality right now, the webcam quality is terrible and most people's webcams have pretty terrible quality. And if you're like me, right now you've been in isolation for like 45 days and you're chatting with friends via webcam, having business meetings on webcam, you might even have your professional meetings from your office on webcam and it's really kind of embarrassing sometimes if your webcam is really terrible, especially if you're a professional photographer like I am. But there's been some good news this week in that Canon has announced the development of a new utility that can basically turn any Canon camera that's an interchangeable lens camera into a webcam. And that's awesome. That's something I've been hoping for for ages because not only is it gonna turn business meetings better, but it's also gonna make it really easy to do things like live streams. Or if you're a gamer and you're like filming yourself gaming, you're gonna have better camera quality. Or if you're filming tutorials and things like that, it's just gonna simplify the process. Right now you're recording two sets of video. Now you're not gonna have to do that anymore. So today's video, I'm actually gonna show you how to set that all up. And I'll also tell you that this is all being done on a screen grab. So I'm not actually filming with a memory card right now. This is all being screen grabbed by the computer. That simplifies the process so much as I've mentioned. I'm gonna show you my setup. Where do I start? I think I should start by telling you there is a blog post to this video as well. If you wanna like have a simplified version, there's a link in the description to the information in this video, all the links I'm gonna share and all the gear I'm gonna share as well. Yeah, let's get into this. Let's go to the Canon website right now. Um, you can see I'm already there. One of the things about this is you have to go to the Canon USA website. I haven't found this on other Canon websites yet. And again, I'll put a link to this in the description of the video, a link to my blog post with the link to this. Um, basically what you do is you go to the Canon website. Let's go back to the start. You hit support and then you go drivers and downloads. And then you can type in your camera up here. So let's go, I'm using the Canon RP, but just for, for giggles, let's do 5D Mark IV. Sure, go. And then it takes you to your camera. Then you click drivers and downloads, it scrolls you down here. You can hit utilities, you, sorry, software. And then on software, you see EOS Webcam Utility Beta 090 for Windows. That's the kicker for Mac, Mac users. There's no um, Mac version yet. It's a, a change that Windows gets the stuff first, so I'm not upset about it, but people are. I should also mention, you don't actually have to do it like this. You can literally go to any camera because the utility is the same for every single camera. So over here, I've got the RP, which I'm using open and you can see it's the exact same utility. So then you go to the side where it says select, you hit download. I've already downloaded it a bunch of times, but it's a small file. So I'll do it again just to show you. You hit save. And then as it shows up here, you can go and show it in the folder and you'll see it here. Then what you're gonna do is right click, extract all. It's gonna then extract it to a folder like this one. And then you've got the, the Windows installer right here. You double click that. Since I've already installed it, it says repair, remove, whatever. You're gonna hit install. I'm gonna hit cancel. And then once you hit install, it's gonna say restart your computer to make it work. And that's where I found it really confusing because what happened to me was I was then searching for an application. I was trying to find the application, but that's not how it works. As soon as you restart your computer, you then have the ability to use any like program that you use for webcams with your DSLR. So if you go over to like Zoom, for example, and let's create a new meeting. Oh, I forgot, we gotta set up the camera first. <laughs> so this is my camera setup. That's the Canon RP and the 15 to 35 millimeter Rode Video Micro. And then I've got the three-legged thing tripod that I've taken the legs off of and uh, put these little stubby legs on them to make it as like a tabletop tripod. And then I've got um, a USB-C lead that's whipping around like that, oops, and into my computer. I've also got my Rode Video Micro for audio leading in there for extra good sound. And then that's me there. 
So then now all I have to do is turn on my camera. Actually, no, first I have to change the settings. So you go over into your Zoom meeting or whatever you're using. You click here, you click video, and you can see it's set up for the webcam, but the webcam's in use by something else. And then you've got EOS utility beta. You click on that and it mirrors it. So you've got it backwards, which is something they'll need to fix. And then all you do is you turn on your camera. If I can remember how to turn on my camera, reversed, there it is. And there I am, magic. And I'll move my mic so it doesn't look awkward, but you can see how much better this looks compared to right next to it, the webcam. It's miles, miles better. You can zoom if you want, you can zoom like that. You can get close and personal or you can go wider, whatever you like. And then the autofocus also works, which is really cool. So if you get really close to it, the autofocus still focuses in and you can go way back and it still focuses on your face. So it's really, really, really good. I'm so happy about this. The one thing I will say is you do have to be careful about the placement of your uh, mirrorless camera or DSLR, your Canon camera, because if you don't put it directly behind your laptop, it can kind of look like you're not talking to the people on your meeting. So for example, I had a meeting the other day and I set my camera to the side and it was like this. And the whole time I'm looking at the screen and it doesn't feel like you're talking to the people. So I, you want to talk to the people when you're talking to the people. So you put that back in place. And yeah, you've got a really, really expensive webcam. If you have a home office, you might want to use your backup camera or old camera for this, or you might just want to put it on a little tripod like I have. And, uh, and that's your new setup. So I'm stoked about this. I'm really happy about this, to be honest. I think this is something that's simple that everybody should be doing. And I'm going to have a, a like a vlog actually on Wednesday, I think. So this has been a tutorial. Wednesday will be a vlog with some photography, I promise. And I'll see you there. Peace.